Here's everything you need to know about the new HANA test kit and is it worth it. Normally, I test my nitrates using this NIO test kit right here. So I tested them real quick just to get a baseline so I could compare and as you can see, I think that's a pretty good five. They look like the same color to me. If you want to know more about how to use this, you can click the video in this card or link in the description about the NIOS test kit. With the HANA checker, you can test zero to five parts per million and five to 50 parts per million. Since I got a five with the NIOS test kit, I first ran it for zero to five and got a blinking five. If it's blinking, that means that you're over five parts per million. So I redid the test with the five to 50 method and I got 0.48, which means 4.8 parts per million. According to HANA, at 77 degrees Fahrenheit, when you do the zero to five parts per million test, there is a margin of error 0.25. So if I really had five parts per million, it could read anywhere from 4.75 to 5.25. Now when you use the HANA checker to test for five to 50 parts per million, which involves diluting your test water, it's a margin of error of 2.5 parts per million. So in that case, I would get a reading anywhere from 2.5 to 7.5 for water that truly has five parts per million nitrates in it. So the NIOS test kit said five, the first HANA test said over five, and the third HANA test said 4.8, which is all what you'd expect to see based on the margins of error. It was nice to see that the NIOS test kit was giving me the same answer as the HANA. Now, let's take this into consideration. The NIOS test kit, you can see by the instructions here, is pretty easy and there's five minutes of waiting and one minute of shaking. So let's call it eight minutes max for how long it takes to get a result. However, when we look at the HANA test kit, you can see here for the zero to five parts per million instructions, there's one minute of shaking in this step, there's two minutes of shaking in this step, and the last step alone involves eight minutes of waiting, which is the same amount of time it takes to run one NIOS test. Now, if you're actually gonna do the five to 50 parts per million instructions, there's a lot more steps involved. You can see number six is basically just all the steps above, completing two through 10, and the rest of the stuff here is just getting step one done in the above instructions. Now all these steps and the fact that you have 11 minutes of just shaking and waiting can be a drawback. So the big question is, should you buy the new HANA checker for nitrates? And kind of depends. If you're colorblind and have a really hard time seeing the colors, then I could see a lot of benefit buying this. But for most people, I think it would be hard to justify it, especially if you normally keep your nitrates around five or above five. I really don't think the added time to get a little bit more of an accuracy is gonna add much value for you if you're that kind of person. Now, on the other hand, if you run an ultra low nutrient tank and you normally keep your nitrates around zero, I do see where this would be handy because using the traditional Salifer or NIOS test kits, it's really hard to know, hey, am I at zero or is it 0 0.03 or 0 0.05 or even 0 0.3? It can be really difficult to know. And the only other circumstance I could think that would really help is if you're trying to play around with like the red fill ratio and you're really trying to dial in a specific ratio between your phosphates and nitrates, having the added accuracy maybe would justify it. But overall, for most people that at least I know within the reefing hobby, I don't think they're that concerned about having an exact amount of nitrates. They just want to keep a range. Some people are high ranges, like, you know, between 10 and 15, I'm fine, where other people are a lower range, you know, between zero and five, I'm fine. So it really just depends on if the added time is worth getting the accuracy for you. The other big thing to consider is price. Relative to the other two most popular nitrate testers, you're gonna be paying double, if not more, for added accuracy, and that accuracy comes at the cost of something that's more complicated and more time consuming to actually get a result. So ultimately, it's completely up to you. If you would like to see an extremely detailed video on how to run a test with the HANA nitrate checker, um, click on this video here. I go over each step. I give pro tips and how to avoid mistakes. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you thought this video was helpful, please let me and YouTube know by giving me a thumbs up, writing a comment, or hopefully even subscribing. Really appreciate you guys watching. Remember, reefing ain't easy, and I'll see you in the next one.